Okay, here's another follow-up video that you'll see after I've made my comments on my end of it. Then you'll see it back here on the iPad. So let me next. And you can see that we're already in this work order. Um, you can read more and see that number five was added. You can also see at the top right where the comments section has a blue dot on it. That's a new comment was added. And you'll see where I added it. And the cool part is, is that when I edit the work order, you will see everything on that work order when, it, when I complete the, all the edit changes to it. So this is why I say that when we have one work order open, we need to continue working inside that work order so that we can have streamlined communications. If we have multiple requests in this screen, then it would cause me to create multiple work orders and that's just not the case because when we send a truck into the shop, we want one work order that has multiple requests on that work order. And like I said, this is a downfall to the software that this is how we have to um, utilize this software in its current state. And the best part is this is all free. We don't pay for any of this, so it is what it is. And it gets the job done and it's a whole lot better than emails in, in our opinion. So emails get lost in the mix. And if you do multiple requests, so if you come down here to the bottom right and you do a new request for every single item that you want to have done to the truck, that creates a lot of issues on our end because of the way the software works, we have to manually add all the requests together into one work order, or we have to create multiple work orders for the truck and we don't want to do that. We just want to be working from one work order so that we can give one document to the shop with multiple requests added to it. So until we get something better, it is what it is and uh, we'll keep working towards getting better software that we can do more with. So um, you can see on this end from the iPad, you can see that the blue dots mean new requests that haven't been viewed yet or new commentary. So let's go into the brake light one that I declined. And you can see right here at the top of what my comment was. Tanner Callen declined the request at the left and left the following note. All requests were combined into one work order. Tank to pump, wheel well repair, and brake light. So driver's side brake light is out. I fix that myself just by putting a new bulb in it um, so that one you can see how I said everything was combined into one work order which is all in this one with PM and multiple repairs so this is the way that I want it to look and um, have the comment flow added so if you have any more issues with this specific truck before it goes into shop to have this work order done then add the comments here and that will streamline communications. It makes it easier on our end. Um, from here you can also go in and see what's wrong with, in, with Water Tender 6. And pretty straightforward. We haven't done any editing to this one yet because it's a pretty low priority. So this one was due based on, the PM was due based on time frame. And I will say with PMs, if you want to add a picture of the mileage of the of what it reads on the odometer plus what the sticker in the upper left hand corner of the windshield says then we can actually see if if it's due for pm there are sometimes that the shop has forgotten to put new stickers in um, we're not doing pms based on time we're doing pms based on uh, usage so roughly about every 5,000 miles is what we're doing on older stuff and newer stuff is being able to, to go a little bit longer between PMs. So anyway, any questions or concerns, comments on work order flow, then um, shoot me an email, a text, phone call, and we'll continue making this better. So that's it for now. Thanks.